had a terrible dream. In the morning, my thoughts were interrupted by a knock at the door. Sir! Sir! Open up! What's going on, Bates? Open up, sir. I have to tell you something. Hold on, Bates. I'm there in a moment. What's the matter, then? It's horrible, sir. Henry, our gardener. They found him in the garden pond. Calm down, Bates. What are you talking about? They found him dead this morning in the pond. I know what I am saying. I saw his body being dragged out. How did it happen? I have no idea. Detective Collier will tell you that. He has been questioning everyone for quite some time now, and he wants to speak to you too. He did not give any of us a chance to recover from the shock, not even Madam. Where will I find him? He's waiting for you in the common room. We had better go there right away, sir. All right, let's go. Detective Collier. Yes. Samuel Gordon, I presume. I need to speak with you. Mr. Gordon, do you know what happened? Yes. Bates told me everything. Good. I need to ask you a couple of questions. Shall we begin? Yes. Did you speak with Henry Stanton yesterday? Yes. I only arrived yesterday, but I spoke with him during the day. Oh, you arrived yesterday? Yes, to attend William's funeral. I understand. What did you speak with Stanton about? I don't know exactly. It was a very trivial conversation. Had you known him from before? No, I, I only knew Mr. Dickens, who was Henry's predecessor. That was before you left the manor? Yes, about 12 years ago. Okay, let's return to your conversation with Stanton yesterday. Did he seem strange to you? Nervous or disturbed? No, nothing like that. He behaved normally. So, you are saying that he seemed normal? Right. I spoke to Morris, your groom, before this interview. He told me that Stanton would often have a bit too much to drink. Yes, I have heard the same. Madame Victoria has also confirmed it. What do you make of it? Well, they found him in the garden pond, tangled up in algae. I don't know yet how he ended up in there, but the most likely explanation is that it was on account of his drunken state. He might have bumped into something, lost his balance, and fallen into the water. Maybe. But don't you think the water would have awakened him? No, exactly the opposite. It was water that caused his death. He fainted, fell into the pond, and the cold water did its thing. Stopped his heart? He wouldn't be the first drunkard to have drowned like this. What's ironic, however, is that it didn't happen in a lake or a river, but in a little bit of water in the back garden. Oh well, no man can choose his death. If there is nothing you need to ask, I won't be keeping you any longer. Thank you. I have all I need for now. Would you please see me out? Certainly. Follow me, detective. I will now wait for Dr. Herman's report and close this case. Thanks for your time, Gordon. You're welcome, Detective. Goodbye. Collier wants to close the case. Hmm. Now that Henry is dead, I've got to find a way to obtain the second part of that strange object. No to nam się sprawy skomplikowały. Witam w drugim rozdziale. Zagrajmy w Black Mirror. Pierwszy rozdział ma 11 odcinków, a ten rozdział również jest długi. Rozdziałów mamy 6, więc to będzie długa seria na pewno. Biorąc pod uwagę zwłaszcza to, co tutaj przed chwilą się stało. Najpierw Samuel. Tak, to jest Samuel. Grałem w dwójkę i trójkę, więc teraz mi się mylą te postacie już. Samuel zemdlał po wyjściu z gabinetu Williama, a później, później stała się dziwna rzecz, ponieważ 
No Samuel położył się spać i we śnie, przynajmniej w tej animacji, która wyglądała jak sen, widać było osobę, która zanurza się głową, jakby, jakby to nie właśnie w fontannie i upuszcza jakiś klucz. A następnie okazało się, że Henry, ogrodnik, pijaczyna, utoną właśnie w fontannie, więc troszkę dziwna ta zbieżność snu z tym, co miało miejsce. To jest zastanawiające, to pierwsza sprawa. Druga sprawa to sam fakt utonięcia w małej fontannie. Trochę dziwna, dziwna rzecz. No ale biorąc pod uwagę, że Henry pił, pił podobno czasem sporo, no to jest to do wytłumaczenia. No, w każdym razie będziemy musieli zbadać tę sprawę i ewentualny jej związek z, ze sprawą poprzednią, czyli ze śmiercią Williama. Bates. Zabieramy się do roboty, gadamy z Batesem. Jeszcze? You said you were there when they dragged Henry out of the fountain. Unfortunately, I was. The sight was terrible. I have to tell you something. I feel responsible for what happened to him. Why would you say something like that, sir? Well, I... I ordered him to clean the fountain. He did not want to do it, but I insisted. You mustn't think that way, sir. Surely, if he had not been drunk, nothing would have happened. And I actually heard Dr. Herman say that his death occurred sometime after midnight. It is not your fault. Certainly, he would not be cleaning it in the middle of the night. Hmm. I really hope so. Bates is probably right. Henry most likely fell in there by accident. Czy pobrano mu krew na obecność alkoholu, że tak się mówi, że był pijany? Have you seen Robert today? Yes, Sir Robert was reading the newspaper in the dining room this morning. If you would like to speak with him, I am sure you'll find him in his study. I spoke to Collier. As you can imagine, he asked me a lot of curious questions. Tell me, what did he question you about? Many things. But most of all, he was interested in the place where we found Henry. It was very unpleasant having to describe it all over again, sir. Oh? Can you repeat to me what you told him? I was afraid you would ask. Well, if I must. I was awakened by a sharp knock at the door of my room. Morris was shouting something about Henry. He seemed utterly confused, rapidly pouring out incoherent sentences. He wanted me to go with him to the back garden immediately. At that moment, I still had no inkling of what had transpired. Did you go with him right to the fountain? Yes, and only there did I realize what had happened. Some miało miejsce zaszło. It took me a while to come to myself again, but then I went straight to the telephone. What time was it? It was about six in the morning. Collier and Dr. Herman arrived an hour later. That is all, sir. You know the rest. Yes. Thanks for being so patient, Bates. When did Dr. Herman leave? Half an hour ago. He took Henry's body to the old morgue. Did he mention to anyone what he thought about all this? He had a long conversation with the detective, but I have no idea what they were speaking about. I was so distraught, I was not really listening. All right. That's all then, Bates. Body is in the old morgue then. What was Morris doing in the back garden so early in the morning? His work is in the stable, right? Yes, but he sometimes helps with the gardening. Henry cannot do everything that needs to be done. I mean, he was not. Bates, why don't you take the rest of the day off? You don't have to work under the circumstances. No, sir. I do not want to just be sitting around brooding. I'd rather attend to my responsibilities. It helps take my mind off things. I understand. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work. Paru istotnych spraw się dowiedzieliśmy z tej rozmowy. Po pierwsze, że że ciało Henry'ego odnalazł Morris. Oni się nie lubili. 
Henry nie bardzo, nie, niezbyt mile widział Morisa w tą swoim ogrodzie, w szklarni. A Morris się tam kręcił nad ranem. Trochę to dziwne, po pierwsze. A po drugie, ciało Henry'ego jest w kostnicy, więc pewnie będziemy tam mieli przyjemność przebywać. Znaczy udać się przynajmniej. <śmiech> 